In this video, I'm going to show you how I do articles and blog posts in ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an amazing AI writing tool. If you don't have access to this, I would highly recommend that you go try it out. Um, it's in a free research preview right now, which means it doesn't cost anything while it's in beta. I urge you to go try it out now because it will eventually cost money. Now, I've been able to create um, anywhere between um, 400 to 600 word articles the lazy way, I would say. But if you want to put a little more time into it, you can create, I've created 2,000 word articles with this. And I'm going to show you how you can do both in this uh, video as well. So getting started with Chat GPT, I'm going to Put the link down below in the description box now if you haven't signed up yet uh, they may be restricting users there's been over 1 million user sign up in the past um in the past uh week or so i think it is this has only been open for a week and a half to two weeks it's already has capable already has surpassed 1 million users so they may be limiting how many more uh, is able to join so uh, put, get you on the waiting list right now if you can if it's not allowing you to get in there so um, what what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pretty much interact with this chat GPT and I'm going to tell it uh, what I want to do but before that before this um, let's just say that I have a, a bowling website and I want to write a blog post, a really compelling blog post, a really good blog post for this article, for this website. So, um, and let's just say that my mind is blank. I have no clue what I'm going to write about. I have no clue what my next blog post is going to be. So let's go ahead and tell Chad PG, GPT what I want to write about. So in this one, we would put, um, we would just tell it. Give me some ideas on blog posts for a bowling website. And we'll put titles only because I found that uh, sometimes it'll give descriptions. So we would just want titles only in this. And we just tell it exactly what we wanted to do. So let's go ahead and wait for our response sometime. There's heavy, heavy load with this, so sometimes it may take just a second for this to pop out. And as you can see, it's already popping out. 10 tips for improving your bowling game. The history of bowling from ancient origins to modern times. Bowling for exercise, a fun way to get fit. That sounds like a really good article to start with. The science behind a perfect bowling strike. Celebrating holidays with a night of bowling. The mental game of bowling. The best bowling balls. So if you want to... Uh, do like an affiliate site. You can do it like this. The best bowling balls. Fascinating world of professional bowling. Tourneys, leagues, and legends. So um, I'm going to do uh, bowling for exercise, a fun way to get fit. And all I'm going to do is copy this. And I'm going to do um, write me an article. Write me a... Okay, so... We're going to start with a blog outline. Write me a blog outline for title. And we're going to put in the title. And we're just going to see what it comes up with. It's going to write us an outline of what our blog post should be like. So it's going to take it just a minute or two to spit out. Okay, so it is spit out my entire outline. So this is what my entire blog post should be about. So it, it's even giving me headings here. Sometimes it doesn't give you headings. So um, what you can do is you can include headings here. Write me a blog outline for the blog type. Write me a blog outline with headings for title. And for, if you run this and you find that uh, it needs a little tweaking, you can tweak this here by clicking on this uh, uh, little pencil here. And you can tweak it and, and submit it again, and it will generate a new uh, response based on uh, what you tweaked it at. But I'm not going to do that. I, I like it the way it is. So under the in introduction, it's going to talk about the definition of bowling, the physical and mental benefits. The accessibility of bowling is a form of exercise for people of all ages and abilities. So there's two, th two ways that we can do this. We can do this the easy way, 
or we can do this um, in a way that will give us a lot. It's going to give us a lot, uh, uh, a lot more words to it. And in my opinion, it's a better, better article. But if you just want to go through these and run these really, 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 really fast, this is the way to do it here. And I'm going to show you this. So, and all you need to tell it is write a blog, write a blog, or write an article based on the outline above. And that's all you have to do. Write an article based on the outline above. And it's going to take all this information, and it's going to take this, and it's going to write an article with it. Um, you can put with headings. I didn't put that. We, you can put with headings in there, and it will put headings in there for you as well. Um, and it's just going to write it all out. Okay, so now it's done. And we have our title here, Bowling for Exercise, a fun way to get fit. And it starts going into the introduction. This is the introduction. And then it goes into the physical benefits of being. So let me scroll up here and show you the... Um, outline and our first heading is the physical benefits of bowling the next one should be the mental benefits of bowling and it talks about each thing that's here in each of these uh, bullet points and it will talk about each of these in this article down here now this article that is spit out is let me copy and i'm going to take it over to a character counter and it is 502 words if you're content with it spitting out about anywhere between 450 to 600 words, you can do it that way. However, if you wanted to go in a little more depth and a lot more words, anywhere between like 1,200 to 2,000 words, you can do it this way that I'm about to show you. So all you need to do is copy. What I, I do it this way so I don't get lost in the chat. And I will copy the um, outline and I'll put it in either a uh, Google Doc or a Word document, or if I'm putting it in my, a WordPress post, I'll just stick it right into WordPress and work right out right out of that. So I'm going to put that in here, and I'm going to work off of this. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, from each of these bullet points, let me scroll back down to my here, um, from each of these bullet points, I'm just going to copy each of these bullet points, and I'm going to copy them. And I'm going to put them here, and I'm going to run a new command where it I'm telling it to give me the definition of bowling and its benefits from a form of exercise. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to let it come up with the definition of bowling and its benefits as a form of exercise. Okay, so um, it's completed with that, and it says uh, bowling is a recreational activity which players roll a ball down along ball down along their lane. Blah blah blah. Definition of bowling and its benefits. And it, the first paragraph is the definition of bowling. And then the second better paragraph is its benefits as a form of exercise. So we'll go ahead and copy that, what it's created. And we'll go over to our uh, document here. And I'm just going to paste it here. I took out the outline bullet and I posted that there, pasted that there. So that we'll, now we're going to take the next one, the physical and mental benefits of bowling. And we are going to do it with a new command. I hit enter. And we'll keep doing this. We would keep doing this throughout the whole the whole uh, the whole outline here. And we would just take each every bullet point and run it at its own command. And then we'll just take the bullet point out and then in it the same place as the bullet point was, we'll put whatever it spit out. And it will create a really, really nice, well-written article that's anywhere between 1,200 and 2,000 words. So it's still c coming here. Now, sometimes it's going to uh, do numbered, a numbered list. You may get that um, a little more often than what you do. If you do get numbered lists and you don't want them, you can put no numbered lists at the at the end of uh, each command and it will not show your number the numbered list like this so if i wanted to if i'm i'm going to redo this and i'm going to put no numbered lists at the end and i'm going to save it so it's going to take all those numbered lists away and it's just going to talk about it instead instead of making this huge numbered list so if you want that in your blog article you can keep it in your blog article or you could put no numbered lists at the end of your commands that you and uh, it won't it won't spit that up. So as you can see, it's 
kind of not numbering them, but it's still bulleting them. So you could put no numbered or bulleted lists at the end. Just kind of play around with it to get the exact uh, the exact output that you want from it if you're going to do it this way. But uh, to make a long story short, just uh, go through each of these uh, bullet points and make them their make it as its own command, and uh, just go through the whole article and. You would need to uh, keep the just keep the uh, the headings the same. So you would just need to take out the two and keep the headings the same. Then you would just need to copy this and then paste it wherever you're going to post it. And that's a really really nice blog article when you get done with it. Will take you a little while to complete, especially based on usage of Chat GPT. Sometimes I get errors because um, it's being used ever so much right now so um, it may take a little time to do this but you're going to get a really nice blog article but if you don't care about getting the 500 word articles then you can do it the first way i showed you just by telling it to write a blog article based on the above outline and that'll get you a nice well-written article as well just not as long so i hope you and hope you enjoyed this video and you found my tips useful to you if you did, please give it a like below. Also subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be I'm going to be doing a lot with ChatGPT here late here in the near future and I want you to be a part of it as well. So, um what are you doing with ChatGPT? I would be it would be awesome if we all could come through come together as a community and comment down below on what you're able to do with ChatGPT because people are doing some mind-blowing things about it. Mind-blowing things with it. I'm going to be doing a lot of things with it, and I'm going to be sharing them with you along the way. So uh, please subscribe, comment down below on what you're doing with ChatGBT, and I'll see you in the next video.